Welcome to the rocket profile of the Angara A5, the rocket designed to replace the Proton rocket as Russia's heavy lift vehicle. The first stage of Angara A5 is the URM-1, the modular universal rocket module 1, and it is accompanied by four more URM-1s strapped on as boosters. The engine for the URM-1 is the RD-191, which is basically a single combustion chamber version of the four-chambered RD-170 designed for the boosters on the Energia rocket, and the two-chambered RD-181 used on the Atlas V rocket. It provides 2,090 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum at 100% throttle, but can throttle between 27% and 105%. It has a sea level specific impulse of 310.7 seconds, and in vacuum it gets 337 seconds ISP. On the four boosters, the engine burns for 3 minutes and 34 seconds, but the engine on the core URM-1 throttles down after launch so it can outlast the boosters, then throttles up again after they are released. The core first stage lasts for 5 minutes and 25 seconds. The first stage uses kerosene and oxygen as propellants, which is safer than the highly toxic fuels used in the proton rocket, though not storable. The second stage also burns kerosene and oxygen, it is known as the URM-2, and it uses an RD-0124A engine, which is almost the same as the second stage engine of the Soyuz 2, and based ultimately on the second stage engine of the original Soyuz. It delivers 294.3 kN of thrust, with a specific impulse of 359 seconds in vacuum for 7 minutes and 4 seconds. So far, the Angara A5 looks exactly like an Angara 1.2 except with 4 URM1s strapped to the side, which is the whole point of the modularity of the system, which will make it cheaper to produce the parts. However, Angara A5 has an optional third stage, a hydrogen and oxygen burning RD0146D on a stage known as KVTK. With an impressive 463 second vacuum ISP, it has a thrust of 68.6 kN and burns for up to 22 minutes and 30 seconds. The third stage is obviously meant for high orbit or escape payloads. Without the third stage, Angara A5 can get 24.5 tons to low orbit when launching from Placets. With the third stage, it can launch 7.5 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. However, until the KVTK has completed development, Angara A5 will use a legacy third stage, which can only manage 5 tons to GTO. The Angara A5 has been launched once as of the recording of this video. That launch was on December 23rd, 2014 from Plesetsk. It successfully carried a 2-ton mass simulator to geosynchronous orbit. At some time in 2017, it is expected to launch Angola's Angosat-1 to geostationary orbit. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Angara 5.